Uh, I don't care that Grumpy Cat is female. If she had a voice, that's what she'd sound like. You sound like the guy from Grumpy Year Old Men. Uh, that's what I think. Mathow? Yeah, Walter Mathow. Well, there were two guys from Grumpy Year Old Men, you know. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Who is the other one? Uh, Jack Lemon. Yes. Oh. Who I think is still alive? I am no? not aware. I know that Mathow isn't. Yeah. And I think Jack Lemon died too. Yeah, I think he died recently, like in the past year or two. That's a bad habit. People should stop. Yeah, I was thinking of this. Like... People need to stop dying, especially actors I like. Agreed. But it's just that people who become, you know, notable and in our consciousness should not age. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still. Unless work... it works for them, like Patrick Stewart. And now that yes. Disney, you know, owns everything, I really think they need to start working on that, you know technology so that they can bring Jim Henson back from the dead. Agreed. You know, zombie Jim Henson. Well, no, I don't want him to come back as a zombie. I just want, you know, Jim Henson back. Oh, well, no. That, then he and zombie Walt Disney can battle to death. I'm pretty sure Jim Henson would win. Well, he would have his army of zombie Muppets. Well, no, the Muppets aren't, you know, zombies, obviously. You can't kill a Muppet. He would make an army of zombie Muppets, though. That's the that thing. That was the True. point I was trying to make. Thank you, XV, for knowing where I was going with that. See, Muppets are technically indestructible. Yes, and all Walt Disney could really do would be pay other people to, uh, to make two-dimensional drawings. And then so. steal their ideas. <laughs> like, oh, God, what was the guy who actually invented Mickey Mouse? Uh... Rule something or something. Uh, Ub Iwerks. Yeah, Ub Iwerks. I forget whether it was Ub or UB, the way that's pronounced. Well, it's UB, so... I go with Ub. Oh my god, he was the inventor of dubstep, wasn't he? You're right, it is Ub, because he also spelled it U-B-B-E at one point, so... Or would that be Oob? Oob. Ah, oh, goddammit, all you asshole zombie. All you, you asshole, asshole zombie? zombie? Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, I got an under pearl. Yeah, but... So, with the server problems we've been having, how bad would it be if I went to the nether? Um, I was in the nether for like 20 minutes and it didn't seem to bother anything. Okay. <clears throat> From the number of zombies flailing down this corridor at me, I'm gonna guess that I'm somewhere near a spawner. It's... Nah, it's just dark. Okay. Guess. Break your heart. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to the nether because I don't have a uh, flint and steel if that portal goes out. Nah. That, well, yeah, there's a gas flying around in the vicinity of the portal. You could just lure it to shoot a fireball at it. Okay. Yeah, it just sounds a little bit too complicated. Oh, punch. entirely, but I mean, it's an option. <laughs> you could punch a puggle in the teeth or something. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a viable option right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's this one dungeon. And we're back to Final Fantasy XIV. Who has a mob, it's a fish, it's in a swamp, it's called a pugil. It's P-U-G-I-L. Yeah. So, Jay keeps, you know, we were running through there and someone kept aggroing these fish. Mm. And Jay's, you know, stop aggroing the swamp puggles! <laughs> well, in all fairness, puggles are just... Hideous. I don't um, even know what my puggles are. It's a half pug, half poodle, if I recall. Mm -hmm. Oh they're, my god. They're, uh, yeah, it, that, that's exactly what it sounds like, too. Yeah. It looks pretty much like an abomination. <laughs> There's nothing good about that. No. No. Sounds like, like it would be like a minor dragon quest enemy. It's like, let's take two of the most inbred animals that exist oh, and breed together. them together. And then accentuate all of the defaults. You mean all defects? All of the defects. No, I'm calling them defaults. Because <laughs> uh, there's most likely options to show up? Yes. Yeah, fair well, actually, no. The whole point of birth defects that make purebreds is that you're breeding for the weird rarities. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the uh, defaults are the ones that they drown in buckets after they're born. Yes. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, I know. But... Welcome to the world of, you know, purebreds. I mean, it's bad enough that they have to, uh, you know, cut little poodle puppy tails off. Yeah, that... 
there's no real reason for that other than people want it to look good. Well, actually, mm -hmm. the reason that that became, you know, the fashion or the style was because poodles are actually work dogs. Well, yeah. And they would dock their tails because but it would not keep anymore. them from getting caught and shit. Yeah, they're not anymore, so they pretty much just do it because that's Cruelty. stylish. Yeah. Tradition. Tradition. Mm -hmm. You well, may like... <clears throat> Go ahead. I was going to say, for a thousand years, you may have been climbing to the top of a mountain and sacrificing the third son of every, you know, you know the third son of every family, and no one ever knows why. <laughs> But it's you've been doing it this long because god damn it that's the way it's always been done. Uh, Alright, so I was just gonna say most of whenever we were breeding pit bulls, we generally tended to um to cut their ears or get their ears, you know, docked back because pit bulls especially have issues with mites. And if you left their ears long and floppy they would tend to get infected. Mm-hmm. Mm. So there, some of the stuff there is actually a valid reason for, but right. a lot of it, it has gotten to the point where, well, now they're just show dogs, and this is what people expect the breed to look like. Good yeah. thing I just don't like dogs, so this really helps. Um, well, the I other used funny to like thing, dogs. Well, I don't have anything against dogs, per se. I just don't like them. When well, you, when we were young, they didn't like us much. No. Not damn Tinker and Pee Wee. Nothing like having a, a neighbor who has two fucking terriers, both of which have decided... Oh, well, actually, no. Tinker was fine. Yeah, Tinker was an old dog. Yeah, was, Tinker was, was an old dog who was from an abused home. She, you know, pretty much just wanted to be left alone and occasionally scratched. Yes. You know, but, um... You know, Pee-wee was a little fuck face. Never been happier to see a dog get hit by a car. I'm not... I wouldn't go that far, but... The time the, the, the time the mailman kicked him, I was not unhappy. Um, well, you know, it didn't actually kill the dog. That's why I was, you know, or I will say I was happy about that. Because yes. it stopped chasing people after that and stopped doing stupid things. So it turned into a cat? No, mostly it ran away from anything that made a big noise. That was mm. a thumpy kind of noise. Did you guys hear that? No. Nah. Mm, unless it, it was like... me adjusting in the chair. I don't know. Did it sound like a wooden door, or...? Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, hey, my spawn trap is working great. Oh, well, I wonder if Dad just went up to bed. Probably. It is, you know, 12.40 or so. Yes, and I think there was a movie on uh, Turner Classic Movies he was wanting to watch, so probably that was it. No, but as the person who always got chased by the little, la uh, by the little fuck face, uh... Mm hmm Because that's the thing. He wouldn't put him on leashes or anything. Yeah, he also didn't keep him in his yard, which on a street like ours where everyone drives up too fast was dumb. Yeah. Uh, for oh, his, I found another zombie farm. For his sake, I am glad that the dog survived as long as it did. Or, you know, because our neighbor is a really nice guy. He is. He is one of those really rare neighbors you find these days where he actually gives a shit about you and will, you know... Go out of his way to help you if possible. But stays out of your business. Yes, but stays out of your business. This is That's a good. Hell of a good combination to find. I just realized I've been mining back towards the house for God knows how long now. There's a zombie somewhere trying to get through a door. No, my favorite story about Tinker and Pee Wee is the time that they chased my mother. And she had just come home from a hard day's work. She was tired and exasperated. She dashes in the house and slams the door. My father asked her what's wrong, and she says, Tinkle and Wee Wee just chased me into the damn house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see, I I, I... I do not like tiny dogs, for the most part. They always end up being jerks. That's because they're tiny. Um... I actually never had any problems with any dogs. Um, small dogs never really had a problem with, except for the one dog that Wayne had, because it was a little... And it wasn't even like the dog was nippy or bitey or an asshole or anything. It was just that she stunk, and she always wanted to climb on you and get attention, and I just wanted her to go the hell away. Mm. Um... And pretty much every other dog I've ever encountered 
has been cool. And this is, you know, especially funny considering, like I said, we bred pit bulls. And I don't just mean, like, you know, English pits or anything. I mean, you know, the American pit bull terrier that everybody's like, oh, my God, they're the most violent dog in the world, and they're going to eat mm -hmm. your babies. They're only Never had any problem with them. Yeah, they're only violent if idiots raise them. If you raise them right... Well, I mean, they're territorial, yeah. so you actually have to work against that. Yeah, you have to train them. You have to socialize them. Yeah, people are fine. Take them everywhere. Introduce them to people. You know, get people to play with them and interact with them when they're puppies. You know, you've you got to do that shit. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a slavering retard. Or, you know, if you're specifically raising a guard dog, you introduce them to the people that you want, and mm. then you don't take them places. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean... I have met, well, mostly because most of my friends that own, 